Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. I chose this lesson for the simple reason that in times when the things that I went through when I was in the hospital, my family was going through the same thing that I was going through. And when a person is sick, it's not always about the person that's sick, it's about the family that has to support him or her. I've never lost a parent or a loved one. You know, I don't know how some of you feel, but for the doctor to tell my wife and kids that they've done all that they can do for me. That's a challenge to anyone that has to go through that. Yes, sir. Uh, I truly believe that, you know, people say, God gave me one more opportunity to serve him or to worship with the rest of the Christians in the world. But I truly believe that God has a purpose for each and every one of you. Yeah. 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 I believe that God don't leave someone here and take someone else for not having a reason to do it. Yeah. God is a perfect God. Yeah. He doesn't make any mistakes. God does not choose or pick and choose who he wants to lead or who he wants to survive. Yeah. He has a reason for each individual yeah. remaining here day to day. No, no, I mean, if, if you consider that God has angels that we do not really know of, but angels that are sent here to heaven to watch, from heaven to watch over us yeah, yeah, yeah. day by day. Yeah. You have to understand that God leaves us here to tell someone else of his goodness. Yeah. God does not, or he did not leave me here because of how good I've been. Yeah. He does not leave me here because of the money I made or how many kids I have. God leaves me here to explain to others how good he is. God does not leave us here to boast about what God has done for us. God leaves us here for the simple reason that he has a purpose for us. Yeah. You have to put yourself in my position where I was there laying in my bed not knowing where I was, but my wife and sons, my parents, they knew where I was, but I did not know. Yeah. I could not make decisions of my own. My wife had to make a decision to leave me there in a trance, or she had to leave, let her faith be in God. Yeah. But it had been left up to me, I would have left my faith in God, but I couldn't make that decision. Mm -hmm. See, God sometimes takes us out of a place to make it a better place. Come on. And what I mean by that is to make people struggle around me, mm -hmm. he has to take me out mm -hmm. and let them become strong. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. God requires you to become stronger when everybody else becomes weak. 
you have to understand that God's purpose for us is to allow us to depend on Him and the people that are around us. Yeah. God did not leave us out there alone. Yeah. I mean, He wouldn't have allowed us to have moms and dads that could take care of us as we grew up. God is that father that the father this child does not have. Yeah. Yeah. God is an all-purpose God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, God is the beginning and the end. Yeah. God was when there was none. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of you prayed for me when I was sick in the hospital, but prayer doesn't have to stop there. Prayer has to take form even after I recover. Yeah. I need prayer every day. Yeah. I, I mean, when you read about the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It means that, you know, we were sheep that were born astray, but now we return to the shepherd and the bishop of our soul. Yeah. And what that means to me is, yes, when we were sheep, a sheep can go straight from the shepherd, but but now we return unto the shepherd. That means that God has always been there for me. He allowed me to go into. The coma, but he did not let me go straight where I didn't stop believing in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I came out my coma, I saw my family there for me, and God was already there. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't really lose any time away from God. Because God was already there. Yeah. yeah. And He made me to lie down in green pastures and He leaded me beside the still water. Now, He made me to lie down in green pastures. Mm -hmm. All right. I was there in my bed of affliction, but yet he was there laying there next to me. Yeah. And the waters that was there, it was a still water. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't mean it wasn't flowing, mm -hmm. but it was a still water. He restored my soul, and he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah. Yeah. He, he brought me out for his name's sake, that I might be able to tell someone about what he's done for me, yeah. where he brought me from. Yeah. And yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Yeah. But thou art with me. Yeah, yeah, thy yeah. rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Acts 18, 9 to 10 says, Then spake the Lord unto Paul in the night of thy vision, but be not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have no have much people in this city. Here, when the Lord spoke to Paul in the night of our vision, he said, Be not afraid. Yeah. Yeah. And here, 
and the 23rd number seven says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Yeah, right. So he's telling Paul not to be afraid because he has much people in the city that's looking out for him. Right, yeah. That rod and that staff that comfort me. Uh -huh. But the shadow of death, the doctors had already given up on me. Wow. But the shadow of death, and it says, fear no evil. So, I'm very positive that the doctors had given up on me so immensely that they called my wife and told her to make a decision. But was that her decision or God's decision to keep me here for a little while longer? Sometimes we get in the way of what God has planned for us by making our decisions where God is in charge. Thou prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anoint my head of oil, and my cup runneth over. Okay. Thou prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemy. My enemies were the doctors <laughs> who called my wife, who didn't know about the Lord. The God that I serve. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do not know who's in control of every living being that's around. Yeah, right. Those were my enemies. And he anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow.